What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Hope you're all having a good day today. I wanted to do this intro um, for this video because this is, I filmed this video about a week and a half ago. This was before all of Buzz's stuff went down. And so I wanted to do a full day of eating video. I had done a poll on our channel to see if you guys were interested in them because they're videos that I've always enjoyed making. Um, we've done them in the past with our RV lifestyle. So I was curious if any of you guys are still interested in them. So full day of eating will be coming next. Quickly, I wanted to give an update on Buzz. He is still recovering from his surgery. Obviously, it was a pretty big surgery. He's doing well. Um, his energy seems to be pretty good, especially considering what he went through last week. Um, his appetite has been kind of touch and go, but I think he also is not liking the food that the vet gave us because he's eating like eggs and stuff, no problem. So the only issue that we're having is having him make sure to take his pain and nausea pills. Um, so yeah, but other than that, he's been doing pretty good. He's recovering. Um, we're just glad to have him here. We did get a call from the vet yesterday about the tumor. Matt's walking in, so you can you can hop in this video too, Matt. <laughs> um, you want to tell him about the, the vet? About uh, the testing? Mm -hmm. So uh, the test did come back, definitely malignant. Uh, we thought that just because it's it was showing up in other areas, including the um, lymph, nodes. lymph nodes. And so I talked to the doctor about options. Uh, so really the options are going to be <laughs> either chemo, which is expensive, there's like a kind of smaller dose of, I think you said chemo, it's, some, it's something like microdosing almost. Um, that's also expensive and still might make him sick. Um, really, the, he just kind of seemed like he was leaning more towards holistic. Um, so it's pretty aggressive, the type of malignancy. And so there's, there's really not a whole lot we can do except for obviously make him more comfortable. Um, we don't know how long he's gonna to go for, but. I mean, I'm hopeful. I think months, so um, or years. Maybe he'll just go forever. But okay. yeah, they, he kind of described it as like a shotgun blast, which is left behind of malignancy. And so he said it's going to kind of grow back. He doesn't know the pace that it's going to grow back. Um, there's been some suggestions on YouTube of, of people saying that they found things that may have helped uh, with uh, you know these kind of I guess malignancies towards uh, the spleen. So. We're gonna try everything we can on the, I think the holistic side. Um, as of right now, that's our, our thought. Um, but yeah, I mean, if y'all have any ideas of, of directions we should go or suggestions, uh, I'm not ruling anything out at this point, but it's just, we're leaning towards the holistic side. Um, I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. It can only potentially help. Um, yeah, so that's that's what we're doing. We're gonna do, Long tail, long tur turkey tail, so some kind of mushroom. Turkey tail. Turkey tail mushroom, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do, uh, it was pronounced very white Texan to me, it was uh, by, by you, something? You, 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 that's what we're going to do until we find out something otherwise. Yeah. So we're just staying positive and enjoying our time with Buzz and just glad that we bought more time. He's already acting pretty and normal and he's bought more comfort comfort for him. Um, so I saw the old Buzz today a little bit. He chased his little toy. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was so really cute. Yeah, he's he's getting to be a bit more active. He's moving around so much easier because I mean, he's he's and I mean, he lost a dog. <laughs> he lost a small dog. Yeah. Um, and so he's obviously already having better mobility. So it's nice to see that. And I'm just glad that he didn't have to leave us in a very, very unfortunate way. And right. just thank you guys. Again, I keep saying this, but thank you all for the support and all the donations. I mean, Buzz raised, I think, about a third of the cost of all of this, which is absolutely incredible and so oh, yeah. we just cannot thank you guys enough i mean the the gofundme page is still open i need to update it today but we just wanted to say thank you guys and so yeah so that's the update on buzz a couple y'all were asking but this video itself is a full day of eating so i hope you guys enjoy if you want to see more videos like this let us know if there are any specific videos you want to see in the comments below let us know so 
enjoy the video. Full day of eating for you, me, but it, it was me. I think I showed a mm. little bit of yours, but you're you're hard to catch during the day, so it's just me. <laughs> Kick me. <laughs> Did you zoom in? Is that a mistake? Good morning. What? I got this you. Where's Eva? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. Today's just gonna be kind of a day in the life, but an emphasis on what we eat in a day. I used to do these videos a lot back whenever, this was more of a fitness-based channel, but I also did them in the RV, and we were vegan at the time, so I feel like it was kind of like a really interesting niche that we were in, and people wanted to know what we ate. But we aren't, we aren't vegan anymore, as most of you guys know. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what we're eating because we are both focused much more on our health and fitness at this time. And I've had, specifically I've, on my Instagram, I've had a lot of people asking what I'm eating to 
hit my goals and, and to make the progress that I've been making. So I thought I could just do a fun little vlog today and show you guys what we're up to, show y'all what we're eating. We're about to head out on our morning walk. We haven't eaten anything yet. I've just made our coffee as you guys saw. And yeah, we just try to get out and get walking before it's too hot. Real quick though, I have a friend of mine on social media who is a rep for Young Living. I don't know if you guys saw that back here. It's it's like, a, it, I think it's essential oils based, but they sell a bunch of like natural cleaning products, natural um, lotions and sunscreen and things like that. And she got me into essential oils. I've, I'm gonna be honest, the first time I set this thing up was yesterday. But I've got a little <clears throat> shelf of some oils up there up there right there <laughs> anyway um whoa <laughs> so i'm gonna do um she sent me a couple little recipes i guess for some summery blends of oils that i can put in the diffuser because I, I text her and i was like hey look i don't know what to do with this stuff i think i'm gonna try the bright sunny days which is grapefruit lime and lemon and so you just do that with water anybody that knows anything about essential oils feel free to comment below the only thing i've done with them so far is diffuse them once <laughs> twice twice i did some lavender last night anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna put a couple drops of some some bright and sunny stuff in there and so whenever we get back from our walk it's gonna smell like summertime i love the little light that it came with <laughs> i um i always wondered what the little the little machines were in massage places. Whenever I'd go to get a massage, they always had one of these. And it's like, huh, it's a nice little like ambient glow. I didn't know it was essential oils. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It's actually not too bad out here yet. Um, is that the right phrasing? I don't know. So we live in Texas, obviously. It gets to like, for our walks, it's like 90 something degrees. It's supposed to get up to 105 this week. Like in two days. So Tuesday. that's hot. <laughs> that's usually like oh. 20 degrees warmer than what we're normally used to. Uh, roughly. Yeah. Kind of. That's what we like, at least. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, every morning we get up and go for a walk. This morning, uh, we're hoping to see horses. I heard they're not there, so Eva's going to be sad. Yeah. Uh, my mom already went for a walk, too. Oh. We got my mom walking now, too. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So this is our day. It's the start of it at least. Eva. Of course. Eva. Hi. Hi. Challenge of the day. Oh, this one's gonna be easy. I can already tell. I can already tell. <laughs> She's like hulking out. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Good 
Good job. Post-workout time. Um, oh man, it's 1.20. Oh, gosh. So, Eva fought her nap hard. Like, real hard. Um, but we got her down, and now Matt's parents are watching her, and we just got our workout in. We're having our usual post-workout shake. Post-workout shake. shake. And now we're going to the store. We're both pretty tired. Yeah, I'm tired. That was it. That was a good workout but I'm tired. Part of the video where they just stare at me while I drink things. <laughs> mukbang? <laughs> That's what they're called, mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. Workouts are feeling much better for me. I don't know about you, but I feel like each time I go in, I am I feel stronger, more energetic, more confident, and then that kind of feeds off of itself. So today's workout felt really good. But then I pushed harder and now I'm more tired. So, and before Eva, we would have gone home and relaxed and laid down, but now we go home and entertain. Work, work, work. And work, but it's great. It's all wouldn't, okay. Wouldn't change it for anything. No. All right, let's go to the store. All right, so we're back from the gym. I am leaving again, because that's what I do. Just kidding, I don't, I don't leave very much. Uh, but yeah, we're, uh, I am heading to Chewy's. It's a Mexican restaurant here in Texas. Uh, so if you don't know what it is, definitely try it whenever you're here. It's pretty good. I mean, it's, I like it, you know? But I'm going there because I don't want to wait till dinner to, to treat myself. Uh, so I'm not doing a cheat meal or anything like that. It all fits into my macronutrients, which fits into the challenge that we're doing, which it's part of our day of eating. So it's not an exact, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it, it doesn't really follow my normal day of eating. I will say that, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, normally like if I'm on like a boring day, right? Just kind of making things fit in and doing all that thing. Uh, it's usually yogurt, eggs, uh, what else is there? Like an apple or something, something extra. Uh, middle of the day is usually some tacos, like beef tacos. In the days, usually beef, refried beans, whatever. And then in between that, there's protein shakes and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, like usually one protein shake, an extra one if I happen to miss some protein somewhere else. Uh, and the end of the day is usually something fun, like I don't know, cereal. I don't get cereal today, but I do get a nice little uh, Chewy's meal. So that's where I'm heading off to right now. Big bag of stuff. It's good. I guess I'll say something for Blair, but heading back now. Leaving Chewies. So if y'all recognize this, whenever y'all are in Texas, definitely stop in. See how good. Yeah, their uh, their case is pretty good, uh, and along with everything else. So just uh, try it out. But I'm gonna take it back to them. Give the uh, the little girl some refried beans. Uh, hopefully she's sleeping right now. She seems exhausted. Um, and uh, we're just gonna enjoy spend some time together uh, going into the evening. And then we have a bunch of stuff that we have to get done tonight. But I think that's gonna be it for my food. I think Blair might have some more. I may have some more too, actually. <laughs> 